name is Genevia. Welcome back to my channel. This is my candid life if you're new here. If you are, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I post teaching content, I post vlogs, and I post whatever I like because this is my candid life. And today we are going to be doing a collective haul. So I've been a college student for the past four years and this was my first time ever getting a real paycheck and by real paycheck I mean like an adult paycheck that like I have to pay for bills and I have student loans to make up but for this check I wanted to buy myself some things that I've been wanting for a very long time in this haul we have clothing we have skincare we have just like random knickknacks and I hope you guys are excited this is basically what I spent my first paycheck on and if you're ready let's get into the video with wearing a mask every day and it getting, I mean, a little bit colder in Texas, it's by no means actually cold, but my skin has been getting drier. My face, like just rain, wearing the mask every day has just been so congested. So I really wanted some skincare. I've never invested in like luxury skincare or skincare that actually has like benefits, past just cleansing or moisturizing in my face. So I definitely wanted to invest in some skincare. So I went to three different places. First, I went to Fenty Skin. I've been wanting to try Fenty Skin for so long. I've been so intrigued with like the Barbados cherries and obviously everyone loves Rihanna. So I've just been very excited to try it. When her skincare line came out, there was so many reviews that just like flooded my subscription feed. So I thought it was about time that I tried it. So. I got her three products. I got a kit. It was $75, which seems like a lot, but $25 per luxury skincare item really isn't that bad when you think about it. So in that kit, I got the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, Remove It All Cleanser. And I tried this for the first time last night and I absolutely love it. It's that texture where it's thick and creamy, but but it also foams. It doesn't feel like really like oily on your skin, but I also hate when I don't get any lather or any foam because then I feel like my face isn't really being cleansed. The past few months, I've been trying the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, which I know is a cult favorite, but I don't love that it doesn't foam up. I haven't tried the new foam or like oil to foam cleanser or whatever, but I will say that I really love this. And I also love the packaging where it's just like a twist up and you don't have to have the extra plastic for the lid. So I got this. I also got the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor. One, the box is so gorgeous. And so this is the sunscreen. And I love that you can just get refills for this. You don't have to keep buying it over and over again. But I've been trying to make sure that I wear sunscreen every single day. And I've been trying the CeraVe sunscreen. But the issue with that one is it's a physical sunscreen. Which I know a lot of people say that's the best and those are great benefits. I'm black. So having that like white sunscreen give me like a white cast is not my favorite. I've been wearing a lot of makeup to work because of the mask. And so I don't want to, I don't have foundation to cover that white cast up. So having a chemical sunscreen has actually been great. I used it for the first time this morning and it feels really, really good. Really hydrating but not oily. And I love that it's that like pink filtery color and it just goes on completely my skin color and I don't look like a ghost. To complete that kit, I got the Fenty Skin Fat Water, which is such a funny name to me, but I used this for the first time this morning as well. I got all this in the mail like this past week, so I haven't had time to try it, but this is a pore refining toner serum. And I would say this is really just like a hydrating serum, but it felt so great on my skin. Like I said, it's getting a little bit colder in Texas. So it's really important that I'm keeping my skin hydrated and plump. And I think this is going to be really great. Again, it has that twist top that I really love. So the next place that I've been wanting to try for so long, it's Susan Yara's skincare brand, Naturum, I think is what it's called. And I picked up the Azalic Topical Acid 10%. I picked up this acid and it says that this is good for, it gently exfoliates the skin, helps reduce dark spots and balances excess oil. It's made with antioxidants and dicarbolic acid and potent hydrators. It also has niacinamide, which I've heard is so great, and vitamin C, which is so great for brightening. I picked this up because I really love acids that are going to brighten my skin. Like I said, I haven't had money for like a pretty long time being a college student. So I haven't really invested in anything that's going to help my skin in the long run. So I'm very excited for this product. 
I also picked up Naturium's Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. And I love lathering my skin with a thick sleeping cream uh, or like night cream. I think it's so nice. Their packaging is also very beautiful, which is nice. It says I can use this two to three times a week. I'll probably use it every day because like I said, I really like to lather my skin up with moisture because I feel like when I wake up, my skin just looks plump and refreshed. So the last two skincare products that I bought, I know this is a lot, but I was really excited and I've been wanting to purchase these products for such a long time. I'd actually tried both of these products in a previous BoxyCharm. I haven't gotten BoxyCharm in months and I probably won't be getting it anytime soon just because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup since I have to wear a mask. But I got the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This is an AHA resurfacing night serum. And I got this in a boxy charm before. It might have been a boxy Lux when they came out with that. But I loved this serum. It's an AHA, so it really hyd not hydrates, it really exfoliates the skin, which I love. I love a chemical exfoliant. I don't use any like scrubs on my face or anything that could like break the dermal layer. So this I tried before and I was so excited to repurchase it because BoxyCharm was like $20 a month so like this was kind of a freebie that I was given but I couldn't repurchase it because I couldn't afford it but now that I can I got this another product that I got from BoxyCharm previously was a pharmacy green clean this is the makeup melt away cleansing balm I love this when I got it they gave it to us in a smaller container but this is it to take off my makeup, I do not use makeup wipes anymore. They're really tough on the skin. They're not great for the skin. And I've been trying this Neutrogena Cleansing Oil, which was fine, but I could tell that the oil wasn't the best quality and it was irritating my face. And I was so excited to now just be able to repurchase this. And so I already know that I love this, but this is the last skincare product that I bought. So then I did what every girl loves to do. And yesterday I went on just a stroll through Target and I got some stuff that I've been really looking forward to. I follow a lot of Instagram like pages that say, what's new at Target, new finds at Target. And these are the things I found at Target. Okay, so. I've been really looking into getting some sweaters that are really soft but not super thick. Texas never gets very cold, so there's really no point in getting really thick sweaters. But I got this sweater. This is from the A New Day. I got it in an extra, extra large. It was 18 bucks, and it's this beautiful jade color. I love that it like bunches up at the sleeves and bunches up at the bottom. And I think I'm just going to get so much use out of this. It's so soft and it's thick enough to where I'll stay warm, but thin enough to where I won't get too hot throughout the day. And this is one of the sweaters I got. Okay, I also, from A New Day, this is also an extra, extra large. I picked up this beautiful sweater. It's tan and white, crew neckline. I love that the neckline is pure white and so are the sleeves and so is the bottom. I just really love that detail. This is also an extra, extra large and it's just gonna be so comfy. Like I said, it's thin enough to wear. It's going to not make me super hot, but it should keep me a bit warm. The last long sleeve that I got is also from A New Day, extra, extra large. So it's ten dollars the last two sweaters were eighteen dollars it's just this beautiful light blue long sleeve shirt i can scrunch up the sleeves which i really like and i just thought it was just a beautiful color the last two things or clothing items that i got from target were just basics i have a closet full of clothes but for some reason i didn't have a plain white shirt so these were only five dollars from the a new day um, extra extra large and just crew neck white just a crew neck white shirt and I thought this was just like a great basic to have and I also got it in black and it was just five bucks so it's fall so of course I had to get a pumpkin and this is called the lip pumpkin it was five dollars you just put a battery in it and it lights up and I'm going to put this on my desk because I thought it was just a cute way to decorate for the month and I also got these four little pumpkins to put around my room. I don't want to decorate for every season in my classroom and do like a big Pinterest room that costs a lot of money and a lot of upkeep. But just adding four little pumpkins will be really cute. And then when it's November or after November, I can take them down, put them back in this box and store it in my classroom. 
The last things I got from Target is I haven't been getting dip polish or acrylic nails because I don't go to the nail shop as often anymore just because of COVID and also just budgeting. So I got three nail polishes from Target. They're all from the Sally Hansen Instant Dry. I love the brush tip on it and I love how quickly they dry. I got 113 white on time because I just love white nail polish. I got 413 Espresso. I also got 359 Hell Cherry, which I think is gonna be such a beautiful color for fall. I just picked those three up and that's all for what I got from Target. I know this video is getting a little lengthy, but I have a few clothing items that I picked up that are the opposite ends of the spectrum from Target, but I think that's okay. So. I have never shopped at Madewell before. Madewell is very expensive. Some of their shirts go up to like $70 to $100, which I think is ridiculous. But when I placed this clothing haul, everything was 40% off. So all the shirts I got were $20 or less. I got three shirts and they're very basic and very simple, but so high quality. And I understand why people would pay this much money. But I'm happy that I got them on a sale, which is probably when I will be shopping for Madewell. This is just a beautiful, like, sage green shirt, hunter green, if you will. And I love the neckline. It just goes up really beautifully. I love, like, the sleeves. It's just such, like, high quality. I've been wearing this with shorts. I'll wear it with some pants that I actually picked up. And I just thought this was beautiful. This is an extra, extra large. And I also got two more shirts from Madewell. This is, I get extra, extra large at Madewell as well. And this is just a black like cardigan shirt, which is so beautiful to me. And it just has these brown buttons going down the middle, which I think is such a nice detail. And I haven't worn this yet, but I'm so excited to wear it. And it's thick. So I feel like this would be a great transition piece from like leaving summer going into fall. Last shirt that I got from Madewell is this beautiful red top. I love the sleeves. They're very like elastic-y, but also give like such a beautiful detail. It has this beautiful bow in the middle and I love this red color. It's very thick and very nice quality. So I'm definitely gonna be shopping a little bit more from Madewell. I wanna buy pieces that are gonna last me a long time. Even if they're expensive, I know that they're gonna last. And I got some great clothes for a great price because everything was on sale. I went to American Eagle and at American Eagle, I found this cute little white crop top. It's like sweater material. It's very nice. And I think that this would look so cute in the summer without anything over it. But for the fall, I can definitely just throw a flannel over this. And I also got two pair of jeans from American Eagle. They're just like plain denim pants. Lastly, that I forgot that I got from Target because I got these online. These are the best paper bag pants I've ever purchased in my life. I love paper bag pants. I think they're very flattering for my shape. And let me make them look cute for you guys. So this is from the A New Day brand. I got these in an 18. They're so beautiful. I also have ordered these in a tan and they're on their way here. And I love pairing these with like that green shirt that I got from Madewell with sweaters. They're just such a nice quality pair of pants. And that is some of the stuff that I purchased, guys. If you like this haul, I know it was a long video, but if you like this haul and if you like anything that I got, I'll be leaving links for everything that I can find down below. I hope you like this video. If you didn't like, so I know that you like this type of content and I'll keep giving it to you. Share, share this video with some of your friends. Maybe they're looking for some new clothes. Maybe they're looking for some Target finds or some great skincare. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Join the My Candid Life fam. I post hauls, I post teaching videos, I post vlogs, I post whatever I like because this is My Candid Life. I try to keep it 100% honest with you guys and just keep you updated on my life throughout the journey. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, I hope to see you here next time, guys. Bye. Hey guys, it's a